Hello, my name is Tom Stickelman, and the title of this video is How Much Money Can a CNC Programmer Make? Now, if you've been searching out the YouTube channels or the internet for CNC programming lessons, then you're either looking to change careers or to improve your current programming skills. Now, I'd like to take a closer look at some of the skills necessary of the CNC programming field and see where you see yourself inside of all that and then we'll go over some of the earning potential of a CNC programmer. So let's take a look. Alright, so the earning potential of a CNC programmer first of all is going to be determined by his experience and so I have listed several categories of machines starting with the 3, 4 and 5 axis mills, the 2 axis lathes, the mill turn centers which are multi-axis lathes, the wire EDM and the plunge EDM and then last the Swiss type machines. Now there's a lot more machines out there but these are some of the major groups. Now, so if a CNC programmer can walk up to any of these machines in the machine shop and write a process in a program for it, his earning potential is going to be much higher than the programmer that can only write a program for a two axis lathe or a three axis mill. Now the next thing to consider of course is the complexity of the job and you're looking at a five axis CNC mill where we're doing five axis simultaneous programming so the experience level of writing a process like this is extremely high. The next thing to consider is the size of the project. If you're capable of writing processes for large projects like this with the added bonus of the pressure of not making mistakes on very expensive projects then your earning potential will definitely increase. Alright so the next thing we need to talk about is the way you write programs. Are you currently handwriting your processes or are you using conversational programming such as Mesatrol used on Mazex or manual guide eye used on Fanuc so that's just to mention two there's many of them out there or are you capable of writing processes using CAD CAM systems and I have listed just four of the popular ones out there there's many CAD CAM systems out there but if you're writing processes with Mastercam, Pro-E, Hypermill or Parkmaker then you're able to make some very complex geometry Alright, and then the earning potential could be determined by the industry that you work in. So, depending on what area you live in, you may have aerospace or the medical industry where you make medical implants or other types of medical devices. The automotive industry obviously making components for automobiles and the tool and die which can serve any of these industries. Alright, so let's take a look at the wages for an entry level CNC programmer. If you're capable of writing processes for a 2 axis slate or a 3 axis mill, you should be able to expect about $18 to $20 per hour. And if you multiply that times 2080, which is based on a 40 hour work week times 52 weeks in a year, you're looking to make about thirty-seven to forty-one thousand dollars a year, and that's not counting the overtime that will be paid time and a half in most cases. Now, as a CNC programmer, you're going to be the only one to be able to write processes for the CNC machines, so you're going to be asked to stay over late to finish processes, to write processes, prove out processes or make sure that the processes are set up for the next day so production can go on uninterrupted. Alright and as you work your way up to senior level CNC programmer you can expect to be paid a 30 to 40 dollars an hour but you're going to be expected to walk up to any machine that the company has and be able to either write processes or troubleshoot processes and troubleshooting is going to be a big part of a CNC programmer responsibility. So multiply that times 2080, you're going to make between 62 and 90 thousand dollars a year, and that again is without overtime compensation. And that's it for this video. I hope the information in it was helpful to you. And if you're still looking for more information about CNC programming, 
subscribe to my channel and check out the videos where I'll teach you CNC programming from the very basics. I hope to see you there and thanks for watching.